Talofa, Malale, Bula, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 19 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports on a somewhat cloudy Friday morning, 21 April 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby Union, the New Zealand Warriors have lured dual international and former skipper Roger Tuivasa Sheik back to the club on a three year deal beginning in 2024. The 29 year old left the NRL mid 2021 to join Super Rugby side the Auckland Blues and made his All Blacks uh, debut against Ireland in July 2022. Smart move. 12 men's and 12 women's teams are competing in the World Rugby Sevens Challenge Series 2023 in Stellenbosch, South Africa over the next two weekends. The Challenger Series was introduced in 2020 to boost Rugby Sevens development globally and provide a pathway for promotion to the HSBC World Rugby Sevens Series. Papua New Guinea are competing in the women's competition and I just have to ask, where are our Tongan and Samoan rugby playing sisters? In the men's challenger series, German, Germany head uh, Pule with Tonga, Zimbabwe and Belgium. Chile take on Hong Kong, China, Papua New Guinea, Hong Kong, China that is, sorry, Papua New Guinea and Italy in Pool B. While in Pool C, Uganda are joined by Korea, Jamaica and Brazil. The winner of the men's competition will enter the HSBC London Sevens in May with a chance to achieve the coveted HSBC World Rugby Seven Series status in 2024. Tongan captain Sione Tupo said, We're very grateful to be here. Our preparation has been good. Tonga has never played in the World Series, so for us it's a huge opportunity to open doors for the younger generation back home. Well said. In Rugby League, the Panthers look to have won it when Stephen Crichton Bagged his hat-trick in the 70th minute, but on the back of another Latrell Mitchell masterclass, South Sydney scored twice in the dying stages to steal an incredible 2018 win at Echo Stadium last night and snap a five-game losing streak, streak against Panther. So, the Rabbitohs poo-pooed the Panthers as we tipped. Tonight, the Eels to boo-boo the Broncos. In Darwin, the Sharks to Bing Bong the Bulldogs, the Cowboys to King Kong the Knights in Townsville, the Dolphins to 2-2 the Titans at Suncorp on Sunday, the Tigers to Moo Moo Manly, the Roosters to Roo Roo the Dragons, and the Storm to Woo Woo the New Zealand Warriors at uh, Amy Park. In football, UEFA Champions League quarterfinals yesterday, Bayern Munich won all with Man City and Inter Milan drew three all with Benfica. And so, the semi-finals on 9th May sees Real Madrid versus Manchester City. On 10th May, AC Milan versus Inter Milan. And then the uh, second legs on the 16th of May, Inter Milan versus uh, AC Milan. And on the 17th of May, Man City host Real Madrid. In sports biz, Liberty Media sees Las Vegas as a great long-term bet for Formula One around the Las Vegas Grand Prix scheduled for November. The F1 owner has put down over US $500 million in its Vegas operations, namely a 300,000 square foot uh, building on a 39 acre uh, plot of land which they purchased last year for US $240 million. F1 is defying um, its own conventions to bring the race to Vegas. Uh, it will be the third uh, U.S. race on the calendar, along with Miami and Austin, Texas, uh, at a time when it's uh, a rarity for any country to host more than one F1 race. It's also holding the race on a Saturday night, its first such race in nearly 40 years. In boxing, the Javonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia super fight in uh, Vegas this weekend is happening mainly because, combined, the gladiators have cultivated a galaxy of fans on social media over the years, with more than 14 million followers on Instagram alone. 
Networks and promoters be damned. They're far too often the obstacle to making mega fights, but Davis and Garcia ensured they wouldn't be this time around by initiating the fight that will maximize their bottom lines and uh, setting an, an example in the process. And finally, this odd bit of sports news. A Scottish ultramarathon runner has been stripped of her third place finish at the 80 kilometer Manchester to Liverpool race on 7 April after she took a car ride for four kilometers of the race. The GPS data tracking on Dr. Josia Zakzuski showed that she suddenly sped up for a four kilometer stretch of the race, which cut her time by as much as 25 minutes, according to the BBC. The good doctor finished just 22 seconds behind the runner-up in a time of 7 hours and 25 minutes. Not sure what to make of that. Maybe she wanted to hit the finish line and rush off to the toilet or something. For TableForSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamea. Mahalo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.